All right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites that come in week in and week out to prophesy the, 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 the uh, downfall of uh, uh, Babylon. All right. But uh, first off, for most of y'all, I want to say, call Loyim La. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, and Kakodash. Though the honors be unto the elder apostles, the great millstone, that do rule and teach woe, and a hearty shalom to you, Aki Mount there, that's pushing his word through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. So Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai gave us a, a, a good day out here to prophesy. You know the the uh, the harsh downfall of Babylon, okay. But as we're prophesying, you got people still, you know, people still being in a, a, a slothful spirit, you know, uh, being uh, uh, last couple days ago, all right, uh, 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 being distracted by bread and circus, okay, uh, 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 by food and festivities. But guess what? Soon, Yahweh Shimon Shai is gonna take that food uh, uh, away from you, okay? But, uh, uh, because last year, 2020, Yahweh Shimon Shai uh, took what? That bread and circus, mm. all right? The the, the, uh, the whole mirth of the, of the land is fucking gone, man. That's right. All right, but but soon come. People out here, uh, uh, people out here in Babylon are gonna be out here, uh, out here down starvation, you know, cannibalism, so on and so forth. All right. Second Edges fifteen. Say eleven, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Second Edges fifteen, verse eleven. But I will, but I will bring them with a mighty hand yep. and a stretched out arm. Yep. And what's that stretched out arm? But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out yeah. arm. And that stretched out arm is what deliverance, man. All right? From what? So-called UFOs, heavenly chariots, man. The elect are going to be delivered. All right? And smite Egypt with plagues as before. Right. Smite Egypt as plagues as before. And why did it say before? Because America is what? A spiritual Sodom in Egypt. All right? We're, uh, we're, uh, right now, we're, uh, we're in the land of, of our captivity. Okay? Real quick, hold that. And give me a uh, rev, uh, uh, rev eleven. I got it. The water. What's that? Verse rev. eight. This is Revelations chapter eleven and verse eight. And their and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, yep. which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, right. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. And why is it spiritual? Because this is a, because for for most we are uh, we are slaves here mentally and spiritually, man. All right, our people are dead bodies here in the streets currently, you know, uh, uh, and spiritually. All right, but as uh, uh, ancient Egypt got destroyed, it's gonna be the same way, man. All right, but this place is about to be it's gonna be destroyed from the inside out. All right. Back in address. No, it's more. It's just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. It says where also our Lord was crucified. Right. Who was that? How was shot? Uh, being being uh, being exed out. All right. From, from being a so-called black man to a so-called white man, uh, uh, fucking, uh, 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 since Ray Borgier, okay? And it also, it says, and their dead bodies. So that's an in particular people. Right, and uh, the people who the Israelites, all right? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American uh, uh, Indians, Seminole Indians, man. And those are the great diaspora. That's right, yep, that's right. And, and, and uh, the, the, the Israelite foreigners, okay? But that's why you have Shai is raising up prophets to, uh, to, to, to spiritually bring down your kingdom. Cause you think that uh, that Esau is gonna get away scot free? You know he like, <laughs> come on, man! You touched you you, you got touched the apple of the Lord's eye, and you think uh, that you're gonna get acquitted? What the hell with that, man! Well, us being out here is the same vibration that Yahweh Shai pushed with wicked Israelites. That's why Caiaphas said, if we let him alone, the Romans are gonna take take us away. That's right. So with us being out here, this is this is gonna take away the the you know the carnal camps, you know the wicked and false prophets and teachers. You know. That's right. Back in Edges, second Edges 15 and 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as right. before. Plagues as before, all right. And ancient Egypt got fucked up by Yahweh Shema all right. But one, but, but one particular plague that like the, uh, that, the uh, did a number in Egypt was what? That famine, all right. The, uh, uh, you know, uh, the famine of crops or food. All right, cattle, cattle, you know everything, man, yep. and, and that's what happened again here in, in, uh, in uh, modern Egypt. The water supply, Egypt two point right? The water supply turned to blood. All right, the, the Lord had uh, what's that? Locusts or flies come in and eat everything up. Fire, fire, hellstorm. <laughs> all right, it's, listen, if you can't get around it, all right, this is a, a, a Egypt all over again. All right, and just like how the, uh, the Lord destroyed ancient Egypt, the Lord's going to do it worse, uh, uh, worse over. Well, he all said, right. I'll send you to Egypt again on ships. Right. So he's like, I'm gonna put you in slavery again, mm -hmm. and you know that proves prophecy because imagine getting out of Egypt and then the Lord warning you through a man of the Lord, like, look, if you mess up, I'm gonna put you back in there. Yeah, that would that'd be scary. Like, yeah. I'm gonna send you back to jail. Yep. Oh no 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 no. That's right, man. Was oh, that it in that one? It's 
says, and I will smite Egypt with plagues as before. Yeah, with plagues as before. Okay. And will destroy all the land yep. thereof. And will destroy all the land thereof. And ultimately, that's what? The thermal, the thermal nuclear destruction. Okay, because uh, uh, this place is bound to be destroyed. Right. All right, bound to be clean, dissolved, as uh, uh, as uh, uh, the Bible said. That's right. All right. This is Genesis 41 and 53. And it reads, And the seven years of plenteous that was in the land of Egypt were ended. Mm -hmm. Like the golden cup. Yep. And it says, and the seven years of dearth began to come, according as Joseph had said. So Joseph's a prophet. Right. And the dearth was in all the lands. Right. And the dearth was in all the land. All right, the land of what? Egypt. And, it, and, and, and that's going to come out around right, right now in modern day Egypt. And the word dearth means what? Scarcity of food, a lack of resources, uh, uh, resources. Okay. And it reads, um, Zulakia. Yeah. And it says, and the dearth was in all the lands. But in, in all the land of Egypt, there was bread, mm -hmm. which is spiritual because why was there bread in Egypt? But we're going into a dearth in Egypt because there was a man of the Lord that knew of this prophecy. So he carnally and spiritually prepared. Right. Because because there's a deeper meaning. The Lord this is why the Lord brought us to Egypt. The Lord made a dearth in all the land that brought us to Egypt to fulfill the prophecy that was told to Abraham. You know, but, right. but like us now, we understand that there's a dearth coming. We're prophesizing about it. So what are we doing? Are, are we eating? Are we gobbling up food? Are we having a, a, a you know, a, a man versus food challenge? No, we're getting ourselves right in mind and spirit, uh, fasting, you know, thinking about fasting, knowing the day of atonement, you know, working out, get running, walking, putting ourselves in, in, a, in a man spirit, you know, putting ourselves in what the order and image that the Lord is requiring us to be. Not going on fucking Instagram and posting short stories how you're in McDonald's drive through There's a famine coming to this land, man. That's the right. Lord's going to fucking starve out children. That's right. That's right, man. Old and young. Can I bring out this definition? This is uh, the online etymology dictionary definition of dirt. Scarcity of food. Yep, scarcity of food. Meaning what? A lack of food. All right. Uh, uh, canned goods, bread. You know, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your uh, essential uh, 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 items, you know? The water, it says. Yeah, the water, <laughs> yeah. Food is costly because of scarce. Right, food is costly, inflation. meaning what? Right, inflation, right, the water. Food is uh, more expensive because of because of the the, uh, the, uh, the lack of goods. Yeah. You know, that's why you go into a store, because because you got to think about, like, these companies, like, they still got to make profit. And them, like, having a lack of resources, they got to up the ante. You know, and, uh, and make more thing and make uh, uh, certain like, certain uh, uh, items more expensive. You know, so food's gonna become an idol. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna idolize the food and not the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why it says, "If a man eateth, but not with faith, it's a sin." Right. You see, so these people are gonna be sinning on top of sin just to survive to live long enough to get nuked. That's right. <laughs> Damn. Look, you want a little more? Yeah, can, yep. uh, Genesis 41 and 54. Go on to the last verse. I'll be sure. Okay. And the seven years complete, mm -hmm. and the seven, so we can say there's seven years of famine coming. If you have the ears to hear, yeah. meaning a, a, there's going to be a complete day of famine. Yeah. All right, meaning where you're not going to have no food, you're going to starve, and then ultimately completion to death. Oof. You're going to pine away, stricken, man. Stricken, man. To back you up, um, I sent a video on IG. I don't know if you guys can watch it. But down there in New Orleans, there was a woman. Yeah, she was yeah. complaining about the heat, and they're not having no food. The Jake mm -hmm. woman? Yeah. Knocking on door to door. Yep. 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 Well, they don't got shit. So people are, it's already pockets over here and there, but it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Man. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. To where people is going to actually bash uh, one another's heads in the heat. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yep. <clears throat> and it says, uh, Genesis 41 and 54, and the seven years of dearth began to come according as Joseph had said. Meaning what? He was a prophet. And just like right now, you got prophets set up in, uh, in Egypt right now. I was saying about famines, about destruction, pestilence, okay? And it reads, and the dearth was in all the land, yep. but in all the land of Egypt there was bread. And when all the land of Egypt was famished, yep, was famished, okay? The people cried to Pharaoh for bread, and Pharaoh said unto all the Egyptians, Go unto Joseph, what he saith to you, do. This proves why a complete number of women are going to go to brothers. Right. Because we're coming to a time... Where proud women, so-called independent women, are going to be put in a position where they find out that wow, 
I'm not set. Uh, I'm not fully set without a man. Mm -hmm. You see? Or to back you up, man, you fucking woman, you're going to be completely humble. That's yeah. right. All right, because in the days to come, and Lord willing, this is it. Lord willing, this is going to be the last summer. All right, you get to have your fucking uh, hot girl summer. Yep. And Joe Biden's face is going to be a dark winter. Yep. All right, now down there in Texas, they went through that, man. It was, it was snowing, houses were flooding, people were, were freezing to death in Texas. Yep. So how much more up here? If there's a dark winter and the power goes out, a lot of you fucking people going to freeze, man. That's yeah. right. All right, you're going to freeze and starve. That's right. right? And just like that TV show called Black Summer Netflix, but it's, it's crazy because what? It was based in winter. You know, yeah, the so, second season, yeah, right? Yeah, the second season. You know, so you gotta, you know, he, like he saw he put like he put little seeds in movies and TV shows, man, and books and stuff. Yep. You know? All over. He blatantly puts it in your face so blatant to where you say, no. Yeah. You know? See, that's the spirit. You got a loud mouth black woman dancing, singing. There the Lord is gonna shut you up and shut you down, right. man. He's gonna strip your independence from you. See, that's what black culture don't get. The proud black woman's about to be the humblest creature on earth. That's right. And it reads, Genesis 41 and 55, or uh, 56, and the famine was all over the face of the earth. And the famine was all over the face of the earth. All right, you, listen, you're gonna have famine uh, throughout the whole US, man. Right, uh, throughout the whole land of spiritual Egypt. Okay, and people deserve it because you got people doing fucking mukbangs, and, it, and it's, it's disgusting to watch doing mukbangs. Uh, uh, what's that? What's that shit called on TV? The uh, the eating contests, you know, so on and so forth, man. Well, not only that, they're eating abominations. <laughs> Boom, there Look, it is. You got you got a raccoon throwing up the fucking corotto. Damn, right. this place is wicked, man. <clears throat> you got symbolism, astrology, masonry, Illuminati, Satanists, occultists. You people are being led by demons, man. Yeah. Really? This is saying seat. So why wouldn't the Lord starve out wicked people? Right. Why wouldn't the Lord bring the mother of famine for lewdness? Mm -hmm. You know, they're not they're not cooking lawful food. Why was you know they were doing wicked shit in Egypt too? Right, right. Like the brother said, um, they have mukbangs on YouTube where they just talk about you know bullshit. You know what's happening with the fucking latest celebrities and they right. eat shrimp, crab, crab lobster. You know. But then on top of that, like the, like these big time uh, companies like Wendy's. Uh, Mickey D, so on and so forth, and like, and like, and like uh, after they're like they're done with you know, like to close, they, they throw away all the food and shit, man. You know, I, you got a breath. Oh, the back, you know, it shows you that uh, Black Mirror. You remember that episode where it was like in like a, a concentration camp or some shit. He had to ride the bike to, to work, uh -huh. but the only way he could escape that is if he he had a voice, if he had like a YouTube channel. Oh, that goes to show oh yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. Because he had, remember, he put the knife to his throat. That yep. was his whole gimmick. And from that, they pretty much gave them a show, all right? So a lot of people only escape from the 9 and 5 is what? They, they get a YouTube channel and they do bullshit for views. Yep. Yep. They conform yep. to the system. Yep. They conform to a systematic stereotype that gives you one avenue. Just like the scripture says, fire on one side, water on the other. So Esau puts you in, in adversities to where it leads you to be yep. a demon. All right? He, he created the Yadis and little Uzis, okay? Do you know in 2001... He had a, a, a literally he he put an industry plant that was a gay rapper to bring in the spirit of gay and rap. Right. That was 20 years ago, man. And now you see it in full swing today. Mm -hmm. So he does shit and narrows the, the and that proves why just serve the Lord, man. You know. This is uh, Genesis 41 and 56, and the famine was all was over all the face of the earth, and Joseph opened all the storehouses. And sold unto the Egyptians, and the famine waxed sore in the land of Egypt. And all countries came into Egypt to Joseph for to buy corn, because the famine was so sore in all the right. lands. The famine was so sore upon all the lands. And I, and I believe that word sore, so I can get it real quick. That word sore, you get it, it means uh, painful or grievous, aching. So people out here like like uh, you know because it, because they're gonna be a, a, a carnal famine, all right. P people out here are gonna, are gonna be dying of starvation, you know, uh, dying of hunger pains and whatnot, all right. Uh, hallucinating things like that, you know. So things are about to turn up uh, in, uh, in these last times, man. Yeah. All right. And uh, real quick, gonna get the article up and stuff. Actually, I can I can I can give it to you. I, I got it. You got it. All right. Uh, if you got a piece of. Yeah, can I read this? This is Lamentations 4 and 9. They that be slain with a sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Right. 
For these pine away, stricken through the want of the fruits of the field. Right, so, so, if, so if you killed by Esau or somebody out here with a gun, you know, or, or even a blunt object, you are better off, you know, dying of that rather than dying of starvation because with our starvation, you dying slow from the inside. And I believe, I, I believe if you look it up, it says dying of starvation, you like, uh, you like your, your body is like eating itself from the inside out for like within like how many days, 30 plus days. You know, so your body is, 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 is like, it's, 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 uh, 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 it's uh, eating that thing inside your body. Yeah, that's why fat. after you work out, you're supposed to get protein. Right. Because your body will start eating the muscle that you just gained because it needs to sustain itself from the condition it was just put in. And that's why the scripture says they should know death by pain. That's right. All right. So a famine is a very painful way to die. Mm -hmm. But that's what's coming. All right. Famines, shortages. This is what's coming. This is the reality. This is the reality of America that you're standing on. A stolen land from God's stolen people. So this is a prophecy of the repercussions for you people. That's right. This, you know, there's a strong delusion with you fucking humans out here, man. You think that this is it? Do you think this is the epitome of existence? We're supposed to be in the future. Right. This is what you have to offer us. And why would it be the pity of the future? Because Esau's ruling. The people can't see past Babylon, you know, because they're under that spell. That's why it says, what's that? Second Corinthians four it says that uh, it says that they're blind. You know, that like that's why they can't receive the gospel. All right, people here that uh, they're led to the slaughter because if, if, if first and foremost, you know, ultimately thinking about down to uh, to about all, man. All right, they're buying down. You know, uh, they're just conforming to this world. So these people are just are just uh, uh, dog food, man. Esau created new idols. Yep. You got two new idols right now. You got the idol of the image and the idol of the mark. Mm -hmm. And you people are going to be, you fucking busy body getting the broad bitches is going to be idled, offer unto idols, oh, definitely, man. Definitely, man. So the Lord going to sit you down, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Actually, mm -hmm. you can get one type of piece up. Oh, you got a precept? I'm sorry, yeah. brother. I'm sorry. Yep. This is 2 Corinthians uh, 4. Yep. And uh, 4, well, I started 3, it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right, and, and look who's lost, man. Two thirds of our people, all right, they're fucking gone, man. All right, they believe in uh, Esau before they believe in you. You know, uh, believe in the words uh, of Yahweh Bashmal Shah. All right, so fuck it, man. You know? Yeah, my, uh, uh, you can be a, a full fucking grown man, could be a six year old girl, but I can't believe in the most high. Right. You fucking demons, man. But I, I got it again if you want it. And also dealing with that. You can a man can identify as a woman, but I can't identify that I got juice. Yep. Right. Or I'm immune. Right. You want that? Yeah, I got a quick, quick point though. I remember one time I was I was at a job and then you had a fucking excuse my language. You had this uh uh, uh this a uh, wannabe transformer. She was a whole uh, I remember telling you about this story. She, she was a whole female. She had boobs. She, she had an ass and shit like that. But she wanted to be identified as a man. And at one time when uh, a, a dude came into a dude came in to, you know, to buy an item. And he you know he see her name tag. He said, "Oh, Janie." He said, "No," and she was like, "No, Jonah." But I gotta be called black, but I can be uh, Israelite, you know. So this place is fucking confusion, man. Yeah, and all that is is a satanic ritual, right? When you integrate a man and a woman as equal, that's a witchcraft. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what the fucking the star is. What your leaders are doing, man. Mm -hmm. When you put that those two triangles together, one represents man, the other represents woman. You combine them. That's fucking Baphomet. When you bow to a fucking woman, that's a satanic ritual. When you think your woman's equal with you, that's a satanic ritual. That's very That's you why know. you fucking women can't receive this truth. Because Esau has conformed you so much to a to a goddess deity that you don't realize that's a top level uh, way to go against the Lord. Yeah. One of the one of the highest ways to deny the Lord is to worship women. Right. Because the because the order the uh, the uh, divine order is what Yahweh Yahweh Shai the Israelite man woman and then the uh, the uh, the uh, children yeah all right yeah, and that's why they say a oh, woman is a god yeah fuck out of here fuck man. out of here man. ain't no ain't no woman our god right, all right? The, the woman is not God the Most High created the woman to be under a man exactly right. and that's another thing us men we weren't created for a woman you women were created for us, us. right the word woman it means it, it, it means female servant you know. Right, they, they serve us, you know, and, and uh, we serve you how about small shot. And then being a servant, meaning they're employed, a lot of you bitches are fired, man. You're fired. Next, this is Beck, brother wanted. Lamentations 4 and 9. They that be slain with the sword 
are better than they that be slain with hunger. Okay, so, so the Lord chooses you to die of starvation, you are a wicked person, man. Yep. Because that's that's a slow and, and a sore death. Yep. All right. Because you probably fat as hell. Yep. You probably uh, uh you probably don't fast and shit. Yep. You probably uh waste food. You probably cover food. We eating unlawfully. You know, eating unlawfully. That too. You probably uh uh you probably are uh, selfish. You probably cook for yourself. A fucking five course meal. You don't share with nobody. You know the Lord's going. Listen, the Lord's going to starve you people out here, especially you fucking women. All right. All all, all bitches want to do is eat, sleep, and shit. Okay. Because they're of the right. world, man. You know. Yeah. And then, like Seal said, man, feed the babies. Yeah. You got you got world hunger going on, but here in America, you know they're just, they're they're proud, man. Mm -hmm. They there's no mercy here. There's no compassion, man. You know we're see we're humanitarians. Yep. All right. We're actually we care about the earth. We care about the the social structure. You know, and we're also uh, indignant. Yep. All right. We get angered uh, when we see injustice and unfair treatment. That's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible is a book of justice. Ain't no justice in the land. It's nothing right. but wicked. All you people believe in is a wicked set of order of a system. Because right. it benefits your little fucking stomach and your punk ass pockets. So the Lord's going to turn you upside down and shake that shit out, right. you man. That's right. Lamentations 4 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Woo. And you see when the English and the Vikings were fighting, yeah. that shit was scary. Yeah. That shit was rough. But they're saying that you'd be better, I'm sorry, you'd be better going to war with Ragnar <laughs> than send ah! Right, right. Right, with, with a, a dangerous, gruesome, uh, cold-blooded warrior right. than, than Diamond Star Base. Whose last words was, no mercy. <laughs> hey. Damn. Right. Listen. You, you better off getting fucking thrust <laughs> through. Damn. Yeah. Real shit. You yeah. better off getting thrust through with the sword yeah. than, than starving to death. Man. Damn. And that's how the movie, uh, I believe the role, I, I, I could be wrong, but you know, I, I believe the dude, that the father, he died of starvation in the movie, you know, because he was sick. He was on a, he was, he, he was migrating with his son. Yeah, he was, he, the Lord broke him down, yeah. bro, to where he literally yeah. pined away. On the beach, yeah, he pined away. <laughs> and what the pine basically means, you're, you're decaying. Yep, yeah, yeah. Your body's decaying from the inside out. Yep. Yeah. And then ultimately, people can <laughs> fucking eat your ass, man. man. They show you that in the movie, uh, The Road, great movie to watch. And also the movie uh, uh, This is the End with Kevin Hart, you know, Craig Robinson, things like that. People are going to be dying of starvation and, and, uh, and through some sore deaths, man. You know? you know why? Because it says man should not live off bread alone. Right. You've turned food into a fucking God, man. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Th what they say? Thank God it's Friday. Mm -hmm. TGIF? Yep. yep. That's a fucking altar and an idol. Yep. Thank mm -hmm. God it's Friday yep. so I can eat abomination. Right. Yep. And that proves that Babylon is... Like the Americans were all over again because of Rome. You had in the, like in the Colosseums, you had bread and circus. They would give the uh, the, the Roman citizens free a uh, free food and a free beer, just like today. You go to the, the ballpark anywhere, man. You, get, you got you got uh, got you got bear, uh, hot dogs, festivity, man. And they're coming out. They said uh, uh, one one hot dog that you eat takes thirty five years off your life. And what Esau do gives you a hot dog oh, eating contest. Gosh, God, man. And they scarf that shit down demonically. And going back to Rome, they said, uh, give the people bread and surface and they won't revolt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they'll give you uh, your, your basketball, your, 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 your courage. They'll give you your bronze. Okay, your Giannis. They'll give you that to distract you so that you don't revolt from what's really going on. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, uh, I forget the guy's name. I believe he used to play for the Titans. But he don't want to get the, the juice. Mm -hmm. So they're kicking his ass off the team. A lot of these players are getting the juice, man. They're juiced in, literally. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And also it came out that every time a major c c uh, c catastrophe happened, Kanye West released a new album. Yeah, yeah. So they not only give you yeah. bread, but they give you mu music with the, with the circus, yeah, man. Yeah. So you got to watch when the, why do you think Drake Nows came out? Here it is. You got all this shit going on. Oh, no, give him Drake. Distract him. You see? Yeah, man. So they're using niggas. They're, they're jesters. Shit, the house is burning and they send this nigga out to tap dance and he's fucking skit scatting with salt. Look at me, y'all. Look at me. Yeah. Look at that. Look at me. Look at me. Like the, the, the dude doing the robot in Dave Chappelle. Right. <laughs> you know? Yep. Yep. Um, uh, sorry. Let me read this real quick. This is the NLT for Lamentations uh, 4 and 9. When you go into that word uh, pine, it means starve. Woo. Lamentations 4 and 9 NLT. Those killed by the sword are better off than those who die of hunger, starving. They waste away for lack of food from the fields. They waste away from lack of food from the fields. All Wasted. right. And, 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 and uh, the fields, what these the, uh, the farms, 
you know uh these storehouses the fields okay. of earth yeah the water base yeah the whole earth is the field the, the field is the world it says you know? the fields of earth yeah the earth you know uh real real quick going back to uh the point the brother made on kanye west from his new album this week he said he said universal put my album out without my approval oh yeah yeah and they blocked jail too from being on the album which is bullshit because you gotta understand man when they when they release things it's, it's numerology thank you it's, it's, it's astrology okay they make sure the moon the stars and, and everything is lined up yep. so when they release it it's perfect witchcraft yep now let's go to his track list okay. and and mind you the 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 album covers completely black and then on top of that it's called danda which is his mother who he sacrificed for that fame so they're pushing a vibration of a portal of sacrifice. Yep, and to, and to prove that, like the, the first song is called Donda Chant. And then like the first song, he, like uh, th th like they were like, like uh, actually chanting Donda over and over again with different voices. So they're conjuring up that spirit, yep. you know? And, and, and look at this, uh, number four on, on this track list is called All the Grids. All right, meaning what? They they telling you something, man. They're yeah. communicating. They're telling you about to turn yeah. off the fucking car. Yep. And then you got a uh, you got a song in there called uh, believe, Hurricane. Yep. And the next one is Hurricane. <laughs> and what just happened? Oh, Hurricane Ida, which was oh, the work of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Man. So they 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 be communicating, man. But yeah. you gotta be in, in the spirit to catch it. That's right, you know? man. You and know, then they then they then they say shit like, oh, I didn't want to release. No, yeah. you wanted to release it. Man. Yeah, man. It's the perfect time to release it, right during the hurricane. You got a hurricane. You got a, a, a song on your album name, Hurricane. Right. They ain't no coincidence. Yeah, man. And then you got niggas in New York thinking they good with their fucking Timbs. Now shit flooded in uh, New York, New Jersey, and, uh, uh, and Philadelphia, man. Oh, then let me say this: the name Donda is Italian for lady, so they're pushing mm. a uh, goddess wow. spirit. They're making their uh, Virgin Mary wow. worship Donda. What did it say? What was it for? D chant Donda? Donda yeah. chant. Mary, Mary. Yeah. That's woman worship, bro. Donda, great Diana. Wow. You see? Yep. Rock, hole, diamond, wow. down, pussy. It's all witchcraft, bro. Man. All witchcraft. Man. Oh, you had a preset, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I finished that one yep. uh, back in 2 sec yep. Corinthians. 2 Corinthians uh, finishing off 4 and 4. And now look, perfect. Look. In whom, I'll read three, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Yep. And why are they lost? Because in whom the God of this world has blinded, yep. it, the, I'm sorry, God, God. blinded the minds of them which believe not. Right, blinded the minds of them which believe not. Now, now, are you actually blind physically? No, but spiritually you are blind. Meaning what? You can't see the prophecies. Okay, because uh, because you're, uh, you're distracted by Bird and Circus, uh, Kanye West and Drake's album, Ash. you know, uh, Ash, you know, and <clears throat> social media and everything, man. These fucking illusions that Esau puts on you, you know, and those really are fucking uh, uh, enchantments and spells, okay? Well, not to mind you, the illusions are right in your face through uh, um, uh, Instagram illusion. Social media, right. social follow media, goddess of illusion. Man. So you are followers of illusion. That's why it says, follow me. I need more followers. Right. And then when you double like it, that heart, that you don't even know what the fucking heart came from. The heart ain't shaped like that. That heart is actually a leaf from a tree that fell on a painting of Bacchus. So when you're when you're liking all these pictures, the leaves of the part, the god of partying and bullshit. It, the, the leaves are falling, and that's what's all on social media is party and bullshit, and that's why we're we're, we're, uh, we're living the, uh, the the days know all over again, you know. Even the emblem of uh, Instagram is astrology, uh, uh, a slight square in a circle, a triangle in a circle. That's astrology, okay? What you reverence and worship, the so-called Star of David, is not biblical. It's astrology. So you're nothing more than a fucking Eve, man. You're a witch. Yeah, you're a demon. You're a fucking, you're a, you're a necromancer, man. Yeah. A warlock. Yeah. And it says, yeah. regard not them of a familiar spirit. Mm -hmm. Bring this out. This is from uh, NBCNews.com. At least 42 dead after Ida batters northeast with record, with record rain and floods. And that's Ooh. what you're going to start hearing. Record breaking. Yep. Historic. Rare event. Apocalyptic. Thank you. Catastrophic. You yep. know? That's the spirit. And then uh, I believe you uh, you had some uh, Jake talk about you know the the C nineteen virus and shit like that. And he, and he was like November is going to be like Armageddon. Yeah, good. So, 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 so the people know so these scientists and the insiders they know like like what's about to happen upon this earth, man. Well, it's about to get cold out here, man. It's about to get cold. Okay. 
okay? And when it get cold, when the weather change, a lot of people is going to get sick because mm -hmm. you destroyed your immune system, mm -hmm. okay? Completely destroyed it with, with that serpent's juice. Mm -hmm. Now, check this out. Four plus two is six, right? Mm -hmm. So that putting shit right in your face. Oh. 23 of the victims, 23, <laughs> that's another six, died in New Jersey. New York reported 13 deaths. Oh, that's what a ritual. That's a ritual. Don't see Esau references 13 for Lucifer. Yep. All right. Yeah, Listen, we're in Satan's seat, man. Yeah, man. If, if you don't know the white man's the devil, then you don't know that black people are the devil, too. Yeah, yeah, matter of fact, yeah. It's like yeah. right here. I think oh, you have more. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, and it says, uh, blind um, in whom the God, Esau's a God. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has a God complex. Right. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Right. And, and guess what? That's not going to happen. No, those niggas, they're in darkness, man. Two-thirds of our people, these heathens, they're, they're done. You know? You know, it, what's that? St. John 3, 19? It says that, you know, they hate the light. You know, so fuck them, man. Right. You know? This is an article from shithitthefanplan.com. <laughs> Food supply chain is destroyed. It's like if I can add... This website is good to keep up my privacy as far as, you know, uh, uh, economic issues of the, like within Babylon, financial stuff like that, your crops, you know. Food supply chain is destroyed. Yeah, and, and, and the shit, the fan is probably fucking the elites, man. Right, you never know. The elites yeah. put shit right, right in your face. Yep. All right, they have to, just like the Lord does. Yeah. It's the God of this world. Yep. All right, did the Lord hide from Moses? No, he revealed himself. Mm -hmm. So Esau is revealing himself, man. Mm -hmm. You got to see what it is. This is real shit. This is speaking right here, yeah. man. This is Joel. When you talk about what's happening, you talking about prophecy. Right. You just have a, you don't know according to knowledge. Yep. Every, the Lord's got prophecy in everybody's mind and mouth right now. Mm -hmm. And all you fucking punk ass people that are trying to ignore it or reject it, you ain't going to be able to no more because right. it's going to knock on your fucking door, man. And right. you're going to be led to the slaughter. You're going to be taken out. You're going to be numbered, man. That's right. And the article spiritual is called Shed the Fan Plan. And what's that? Jacob's trouble, ultimately, you know, because uh, because when things do it, you know, hit the fan, it's going to go everywhere. Straight judgment everywhere, man. It says, prepare now, stock up if you can. Right, stock up now. Of course, we don't trust in food, but we'll be wise, you know, to, to get a, a little more than usual. Joseph you did. Know? Right, you know, he stored up, man. And through the spirit, man, what they stopped doing at these grocery stores, they stopped giving you bags. So now you yeah. got to pay for them. Yep. So what if what if you don't want to uh, get bags? So you leave in the store with the food in your cart. You got to put the shit in your car like that. And then you bring the food in your house so everybody in your vicinity knows what you got. All right, so it's perfect to be set up for a, a man's not gonna have pity on his neighbor, right? And okay. them not giving you a bag puts a spirit on you not to get as much because you, I, I can't fill the bag. Now the bag is taken away, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like you have money without a wallet, you know? Right. So you're mindful now, you know? Mm -hmm. It says the U.S. food supply chain is irrevocably, I would say that, shit. yep, destroyed. There are shortages in most grocery stores across the country. And, and, and I see it out here. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, man. Just like, that's how you got it, brother. And I see it out here, man. When you go to like a Walmart or Wegmans.